Atlantis has always had a king. Now I need something more. But what could be greater than a king? A hero. Between the two of them, between Nicole and Amber, they bring so much emotion to these two characters, and I'm so lucky to have them in this film. You describe the character, a leader, commander, tough, in charge. I think all you had to do is say, sword and crown. You get a sword, and you get a crown. And I was like, I get to fight and rule? Okay. Power? <laughs> all right, cool. I'll do it. Sounds right in my alley. What I loved is how cool the costume was when they came up with all the things that I could use to battle and survive. I love the strength of her. Amber, you know, one of the things that struck me when I first met her was just how charismatic and charming she is. And Mira is such a strong character. In the comic book world, she's actually more powerful than um, Arthur is in a lot of ways. She has powers that even Arthur doesn't have. She's a strong woman. I mean, she could kill me, really. She sucked the water right out of me. She has this amazing power. You know, I don't even know your name. It's Princess Yumeira Javella Chala. You may call me Mira. What I love so much about our movie is that James, no, the writers, none of the producers, none of them want to see uh, or create another damsel in distress. And I, for one, um, am the last person to sign up for such a role. Mira is very much her own superhero. And I wanted to very much do justice to the Mira that has been created in the comic book world already. Action! But then allow for my own personality and the role that they have created for me in being a strong, proactive, powerful force on her own part to inform my modern version of Mira. One of the things I love the most about Aquaman is that it reacts to our audience's desire to see women occupy stronger roles. Let's do it. Yeah, it's a good part. It was very important for me to tell Mira's story as well. She is really effectively the one that saves the world. <laughs> I need you to come with me to Atlantis. If it weren't for her, uh, none of it would happen. Our lead characters go on this crazy fun journey, and along the way, it's a, like a rite of passage story. They learn who they are and what they're meant to be. She's destined to fulfill that role that Queen Atlanta filled before her, a true Atlantean queen. You've been here alone for 20 years? Yes. The emotional spine of this movie really is Queen Atlanta. So much of the movie is happening because of her. It was super important for us that we cast the right actors for this role. I like these last moments to be a bit more sort of uh, taking your time, you know, soaking it in. We knew we needed an iconic actress to play this role. We knew it had to be somebody who would bring so much to the table just by looking at them and really bring gravitas to the role. Nicole was my one and only choice. I've wanted to work with Nicole for a very long time. I, I think the world of her. James always said the perfect person would be Nicole Kidman. And before we cast the role, we drew her into the concept art. So all of the wardrobe art, everything that had Atlanta, always with Nicole Kidman's face. And James would say, you know, I hear that Nicole wants to work with me. And we would all kind of laugh at him and say, yeah, I'm sure she wants to work with you. I'm sure she does. But when we reached out, it turned out she actually really did. James, you know, he's an auteur, and I was just, like, really grateful that James said to me, yeah, come and play her, and, and let's have some fun together. Casting Nicole as Queen Eleanor, you know, is heaven to me. Nicole just has a wonderful warmth about her, and, you know, at times I was actually a little starstruck because I'd, I'd be looking at her, and I'd be looking into her wonderful blue eyes going, oh, you know, there's a real movie star for you, and... Uh, she made it fun. Eleanor is definitely no pushover, you know. She's come from a long line of really powerful female warriors. She's the queen. And fight off eight of them or 12 of them, yeah. It was easy. <laughs> Nicole just comes in and just blows us all away. She's so incredible at what she does. James told me that I would get to have Jason as the baby and then we get to be his mother when he's grown up. But that 
I've always seen it in him and knew he was going to be the king. That's what a mother knows. That's a mother's instinct. For one true king. The women in this movie are super important. They bring the best out of him. Yeah!